Tim, you know why the Yankees always win? Because the other teams can't stop looking at those damn pinstripes. The point being not to get caught up in facing the Patriots. And as Kevin told me, they can be beat, which the Titans did do last season. But beating them in Week 10 and beating them in January, it's an entirely different beast. The Patriots have not lost at home in the playoffs in six years. And when it comes to Tom Brady and that offense, Titans defensive coordinator Dean P said you can't overcomplicate things. They've been together for so long. They've got an answer for everything you've got. Okay? We'll see what the answers are on Saturday. There mm -hmm. we go. Since week seven, the Titans have had one of the better offenses in the league while the Patriots have struggled. So, Brable trying to show that his Titans, you know, they need to play the team. What's ahead of them? Not the uniform, the history, the mystique uh, against these Pats. Mm -hmm. Nate, is there a real reason for the Titans to be intimidated, of course. Yes, no doubt about it. Yeah? And what a movie. Catch me if you can. How about it? Absolute classic. Now, here's the thing. Frank Abagnale <laughs> character, which yeah. is Leonardo DiCaprio, yeah. he was on the run most, most of the movie. Whole damn thing. But I'll tell you what. You know who the Patriots are? <laughs> Go on. Carl Hanratty. Uh -huh. That's Tom Hanks' character. <laughs> Persistent. They're going to track you down no matter what. Now, the thing about the Patriots is that they're going to work you until the fourth quarter. Now, you cannot get caught up in the jerseys, caught up in the hype, caught up in Foxborough. But if you make one mistake, just like the movie Catch Me If You Can, uh -huh. then eventually, eventually, you will get caught. So that's the thing. Try not to focus on what it is the mystique of being the Patriots player is. It's more just playing against another guy, purely X's and O's. It's a good reference to catch me if you can, because that's about the last time the Patriots lost a home game. 2002, it felt Either. like. No, it's been 2013, which is a solid, solid time since they've lost a game. And they've won all of these playoff games that have been home. These are all in a row. And I can't imagine the Titans coming in suddenly saying, OK, well, we're the team. But that's what they've got to yeah. do. They've got to wear that hat and say, we're not going to be in awe of you. The Jaguars one was a, myst a mysterious one because the Jaguars had to lead the whole game and they fell apart in the fourth quarter when they needed it most in Foxborough. That's how things tend to happen that way. But I look back at the last time the Patriots did lose a playoff game at home, and it was Joe Flacco and Anquan Bolton. Here we go. And it was Torrey Smith, and it was that man right there, Dennis Pitta. And what the Ravens did was they got up early, they fell behind, and then they took it to them in the second half and did not look back. Bolden had a day that day, and Ed Reed and Ray Lewis and all of those guys on the Ravens defense were not scared. It's still Flacco Appreciation Week, Peter. It is, but they had been up there, and they had done the job, and they had acted as if they'd been there before. Titans have a lot of guys who were former Patriots, who have been up there, done there, and done the job before. Just can't be scared. Can't look at the banners, and you cannot look at that uniform and the mystique. It has haunted the last nine teams who have gone into that building. We already have our first upset of the playoff season. Vrabel being a catch-me-if-you-can guy is shocking. <laughs> of all, I would thought he'd be like a revenant guy, sleeping in a horse carcass, quick and the dead. But he loves it, and it's perfect because the thing that's lost here, it's not just Tannehill versus playoff game. 30 guys on the Titans, 30, had never played in any playoff game let alone at Foxborough on the road. And if you look at the Titans schedule this year, raw. But this is why you hire number 50 right there. This is why you hire Mike Vrabel, guys. He's a great defensive acumen. He's a motivator of men. But you hire him for the piece of the title. Mike Vrabel played in eight playoff games in Foxborough. Mike Vrabel was oh. out there for the, for the tuck rule game. He's pedigree. He's been there. And as much as it's nice to hire Eric Mangini or Charlie Weiss or Romeo Cornell, they're not out there running down Donovan McNabb in the Super Bowl defending Foxborough. The whole reason you're here, it's like a, a, a Confederate general defects from Tennessee to the Union, then they invade the South. That's what you're doing here. You took one of their own and now invading them. That's why he got this job. We'll see if he earns it. Derek Henry, scary. I think we've all sort of jumped on the excitement of some change in the AFC and on the Titans. Yeah. We'd love to see them get very far. This is still the number one defense in the league. I think that's lost a little bit within the loss to the Dolphins, seeing Devontae Parker burn Stephon Gilmore, seeing Derek Henry run and keep running for what looked like miles out there on a 100-yard uh, field. But no rushing leader has even ever had 80 yards mm. against a number one defense in the playoffs. Running the ball is going to be hard. Should they be intimidated as far as quarterbacks are concerned? A lot of sizing up between the two. Can Tannehill do something that Brady can't? No doubt, 100%. Mm. If you look at the four losses that the Patriots had this year, there's a common thread. Um, and it actually it ties into what Vrabel was saying. They all were fearless, mm. fearless quarterbacks. Think about Fitzpatrick. He might be the most fearless yeah. dude in the game. Then you have Pat Mahomes, Deshaun Watson, and then Lamar Jackson. Mm -hmm. These are all fearless 
running quarterback. So, to your point, Kay, they have to run the ball. And I know people at home are saying, okay, of course, we get it. It's Derrick Henry. He, he, he has the rushing title. No, I'm talking about quarterbacks okay. rushing the ball. When you look at that Lamar Jackson win in week nine, they oh. rushed for 210 as a team. Ryan Tannehill is going to have to do something similar to what we're seeing right now. A fearless quarterback jumping from the three-yard line, doing whatever he can to move the chains and score a touchdown. If he can do that, I'm saying rush for 60, 70-plus yards. Derrick Henry gets busy, rush for 100 to 150. Not only will you be controlling the game, not only will you be staring intimidation dead between the eyes, but you also keep Tom Brady on the sideline and you take the crowd out of it. If they can do that, running the ball with their quarterback and running back, be smart though. It'll be good. Be smart. I, I have this vision of Ryan Tannehill making this great play down the field and he's moving the chains and somebody punches it out from behind. True. The ball's on the ground. We've seen the Patriots do that all year. The Titans can beat themselves in this game. They make a big mistake. This could, could be a wrap. Be smart. I think yeah. back to some of those close playoff games in Foxborough. Bortles going to the distance and Alex Smith to oh, yeah. all the way back oh, yeah. down in a divisional round. And the quarterback just didn't have enough in the end. Remember, Stephon Gilmore knocks the pass away yeah, from yeah. Bortles. Alex Smith was bleeding too much clock in that divisional round game with Andy Reid as the coach. It, Tannehill's going to have to win this game at some point. Even if they are tight and if they're up and they're winning. Brady's not going to let you off the hook. Mm. Brady is not going to go away quietly into the night at his home field in the wild card round. You're going to have to be a four-quarter quarterback, and I'm not sure Ryan Tannehill is that. It's great in the regular season. Okay. I've never seen him in a postseason game. I don't know what he brings in January. Kyle, do you think this defense is going to win it for the Patriots if they win it? I do. I, 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 we've tried for five months to build up this Patriots offense. I don't think they have it. And I don't think Edelman's right. I don't think Brady's right. I think this game needs to be won with Van Noy, Collins, McCourty, those guys, which keeps coming back to it. I feel like we're going to be talking about this game Monday, and it's like, that big pick, that, that red zone pick the Titans threw killed them. Killed them. And that's the next chapter in the football diaries. And on the flip side, it could be that big hit, that big hit they landed on Tom Brady. Hey. That's Ooh. what put him in the cast. Maybe. And the Titans go on to the next round. Patriots have won nine straight games at home in the playoffs. It could be Tom Brady's last ride, his last home game as a Patriot.